Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bhumiset. In this video, we'll cover top 10 snowflake interview questions. Okay, if you are preparing for interview, try to watch this. It will be helpful. So first question is that what? How to clone a table? Okay, so this is very, very important. They'll ask what is zero copy cloning? What is cloning? Okay, see? So syntax is that what? Create table, table name, which is the clone keyword and hold the table. Okay, so create table, table name, clone, hold the table. So this is the syntax to create a clone table. Same thing, second question is that what? What is fully qualified name? So fully qualified name is nothing but what's a database name, schema name, and object name. It can be table, it can be view, or anything. So it's a fully qualified name. So database name, schema name, and object name. Third question is that what? So what are the types of tables in Snowflake? Okay, see? So these are permanent tables, transient tables, temporary table. So these are like Snowflake internal tables. And one more thing is that external table. So permanent table, transient table, temporary. Table. So these are Snowflake internal tables. Same thing, next question is that what? Which constraints Snowflake and So Remember, Snowflake supports primary key, foreign key, unique, not null, and default constraint. But it enforces only not null constraints. So Snowflake enforces only not null constraint. Next question is that what? What is the default retention of retention time of snowflake table? So by default for permanent table, transient table, and temporary table, it will be one day. One more time. So by default for permanent tables, transient tables, and temporary table, it is one day. So sixth question is that what? How to find the storage of a table? Okay, so this is when one, one of the important questions. Okay, see, it is by using information schema dot table storage matrix in the active bytes column we can able to find how many bytes to have one more time so see how can find the storage of a table by using information schema dot table storage matrix in the active bytes we can able to get the actual storage next question is that word so what are the ways to load the data into snowflake from external location it can be by using copy statement snowpipe or external table so suppose like file is an external location since like what can be AWS or Azure or DCP. Now requirements that what I want to load the file data into Snowflake. I can load with the help of copy statement for bulk loading, for continuous data go for Snowpipe and the data like query will go for external table concept. Okay, so by using three ways, we can able to load data by using copy statement, Snowpipe and external table. Directly we can able to access using external. And a similar fashion, next question is that what? How to find the Snowflake version so it can be found by using select current underscore version so by using this current version we can able to figure out so what's the version yes next question is that what how the semi-structure data stored semi-structure in a sense like what can be json xml avro parquet or these are the so remember snowflake supports structured data and semi-structured data structured data in a sense like what csv files text files csv same thing semi-structured data in a sense like what json xml Avro, Parquet, ORC. This can be stored in variant data type. Very, very important. So by using variant data type, we can able to store the same. Next question is that what? So can metalized views can be created in multiple tables? Metalized views are nothing but say pre-computed result of the table. Okay. So what happened? So question is that what? Can metalized views can be created in multiple tables? So answer is no. Only single table we can able to create. So getting the points are so if you are preparing for intro, like try to watch this video to be helpful. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.